my wife asked me um, a few months back, uh, uh, she came with a photograph of a picture that she cut out in a country magazine. And um, she, it was a clock of an old uh, railroad station uh, clock. And she asked me if I could make one something like that. And I said, I looked at it and I said, yeah, I could make it. Uh, it was uh, pretty uh, much a, um, a simple clock, but it was about three feet in diameter. And it had uh, Roman numerals on it, and it had, the, it had a clock works that didn't work. And so I said, well, yeah, I, I can make it. So two weeks later, I came upstairs with the, with the clock, and it's three feet in diameter. It's hanging in my sunroom right now, and it has uh, Roman numerals, black Roman numerals, and it's on uh, uh, shiplap pine, and it's three feet in diameter, like I said. And uh, so that inspired me to, uh, to make a few more. And so my next one, uh, after joining the Friends of the Milford Upper Child's Trail um, and seeing that they had a logo, and I said, mm, I think I can, uh, I can make this logo look a little nicer. And so I made them a clock with their logo on it with a little coloring in it. And, has uh, green trees and color flowers and a little pond with an egret in it and has a yellow stripe down the middle of the road. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's hanging at the Milford Senior Center right now and it looks quite nice in there. And, uh, that was my second clock. And then I've made one for uh, Friends for Autism. Uh, it was auctioned off uh, a few weeks ago uh, up in Northboro. Uh, yeah, Northboro. And um, that was very nice. Somebody from Menden uh, bid on it, and they liked it. And um, I made uh, this one uh, is my fifth one. And um, I have made one for the Milford, uh, the town of Milford, and it's hanging in the Milford Public Library right now. I think it's in the Milford uh, room uh, that they have there. Uh, that was quite nice. It took me about 55 or 60 hours to do the artwork, and uh, the in it's actually engraved. Uh, every every line that's on um, uh, on the clock, including the numerals and numbers, each circle, it's all embedded into the clock. All these numbers are cut with a knife, uh, and the reason why everything is embedded because this is all stain. This is not painted. And stain on wood, if you don't control it, it will run all over the place. So I have to make like a little um, shield in preventing it uh, from going over into the uh, adjoining uh, wood area. And so every line has to be, I have to draw this three times. First I have to lay it out in pencil and, uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll highlight some of the areas like the numerals in, um, in ink after I've cut each line. Of, I'll go over it with ink and then I'll fill them in with, uh, with the ink uh, after they're outlined. And um, the, the one that was the hardest one to do was the, the, uh, the one that I presented to the town of Milford. And that was um, because it was such detail on, on the logo, the original town seal, um, the, like even the horse and the, and the man that's riding the horse, everything had to be very carefully cut into the wood and so that the dyes didn't run to the adjoining surfaces. And, and, um, and I'm liking what I'm doing, and I just uh, finished uh, another one that I'm quite, uh, I like it quite a bit. And it's a picture of uh, Cape Cod and has Roman numerals on it, and uh, it's really quite nice. And, and uh, basically, that's, uh, that was my seventh clock, and I'm getting ready for another one now. And I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking about, um, uh, 
sea scenes, uh, lighthouse scenes. Uh, I want to do one of the Cape Cod Canal with the bridges, the Bourne Bridge and, um, and the railroad bridge in the background and, and seeing the setting sun right between the two bridges and you can see the sun setting in the, in the background there. That's, uh, I got that one on my mind sure. right now. So, and that's basically it. <laughs> I'm having fun doing it. <laughs>